guys, welcome back. Um, okay, last night I did an eating video at Taco Bell. Telling you a little bit about what's been going on. I'm just like fed up with things lately. And then this morning, this morning was a terrible morning. I got up, threw on these clothes from yesterday, left within like, I don't know, 15 minutes of being up. I just had like a full on meltdown. I went down to the park and I sat by the pond and I filmed a video just letting it all out. It's literally an hour long. So I don't know if I'm going to upload or not because it gets deep down and personal with a lot of things that are going on that and that have been going on. So I'm not sure if I'm going to upload it or not. I mean, it felt better just getting things off my chest, but I don't know. I can just imagine the hate that would come. If I posted that video, I mean, I posted a similar video a few years ago when things like happened, but I don't know. But I have a huge salad with lettuce, tomato, cucumber, red onion, hard boiled egg, mozzarella cheese, croutons, and light ranch. I have a cup of noodles. I have a bag of Doritos if I decide I want them. I have a Diet Dew. But no, it's like, I see so many people that like budget and coupon. And I do coupons. I do mine like from Meyer because that's mainly where I get my groceries. Whoa, that's way too hot. But Jay keeps saying, next time we go to the grocery, we need to go to Aldi's and see what they have. I don't like, there's even some name brand like canned vegetables that I don't like. There's I like the Del Monte ones. That's like the only canned vegetables I like. It's like some things, I don't mind if they're... Um, like generic, but what the heck, but other things I want name brand because that's what I like. I mean, if I'm going to eat it, I'm going to get what I like, but I want to go check it out, but I'm wondering like Alex obviously doesn't count because she's on formula and baby food, but for Jay, Adrian and I, I'm wondering if I can, we want to start eating healthy. I keep saying that, but I really do. Just some days, crappy food sounds good. I'm wondering if I can feed all three of us healthy meals, healthy food, for like $50 a week. So if you do the math, like $200 a month for groceries doesn't sound like that much. But if I factor like $75 a week, that sounds like a lot. Like, I don't know. $50 a week, I could spend like... And that's just like on the weekly stuff, roughly. Uh-oh. I could spend 25 on meat. Like a big pack, family pack of chicken at Sam's is like right around 10 bucks. I could get a big family pack of hamburger. We eat a lot of the same things. We like our tacos on Tuesday. Whether they're beef or chicken, doesn't really matter. We like both. We like our spaghetti. We like our fish. We like shrimp. I would like to have a day of the week. Like, I was watching SMLXO and she said that every Thursday her and her boyfriend go to her, her boyfriend's grandma's and have pizza and wings. It's like Adrian's gonna be starting school, so she'll be eating at school unless we pack lunches. Jay will be at work. He could pack his. I could totally eat. Like cottage cheese or yogurt and fruit or like a I don't really do cereal or oatmeal eggs for breakfast um 
lunch, I could do a salad. Every day for lunch, I have a salad. And, um, do like a, one of those veggie patties or some chicken or like have a taco salad with leftover taco meat or even have a hot dog, like a pack of hot dogs would last a couple weeks. So it's like we'd buy them every week. When I go to the grocery, you've seen my hauls. It's just random stuff. Sometimes I go and I spend like $200. It's like I didn't even really get anything for meals. So if I spent $25 on meat, that would leave $25 for produce, bread, milk, like a bag of chips here and there. Is that logical for like a family of three? Fifty dollars a week? Like a big huge thing of um, romaine will last a couple weeks. A big huge pack of strawberries will probably last two weeks. I like doing my grocery hauls and going to the grocery because it's like my only time out of here, but if I could just go to the grocery like well, the last day of the sale is Saturday, so if it's on sale for the week Saturday's the last get it, the last day to get it it's like yesterday I ran and got a case of pop because it was on sale for $5.99 plus I had a $5 off coupon And then, Sunday start the new sale. So if they like produce on sale on Sunday, I could get produce on Sunday and I could go in the next Saturday to get them for the following week. So, I want to get back to Sundays being my, what is it, shop and chop and drop days. You do the shopping, get home, chop up your produce, drop them in their containers so they're good to go for the week. I want to get back to that. So if I went to the groceries on Saturday evenings or Saturday mornings, I want to become a morning person too. But when I'm up all damn night, it's hard to be a morning person. Like like on Saturday mornings and on Sunday mornings. And then Sunday sometime either late Sunday morning or Sunday evening. Yeah. Early Sunday morning because Sunday evenings will be for baths, getting everything ready for the week. So Sunday after I get home from the grocery, just do all my, you know, wash my produce. If you cut stems off strawberries and put them in a container, they last way longer than if you leave the stems on. Um, if you put, like, paper towel in the bottom of your container, that kind of absorbs the moisture instead of your fruit absorbing the moisture. Like when I go to the store, I want to get, like, strawberries and blueberries and raspberries and mangoes and grapes and or Like, I can't get every fruit because then it goes bad before I eat it. I don't know why I do that. But it's like everything looks so good. I love produce. And then I don't clean it or prepare it. And then I never eat it. So it just gets thrown away. So. I'm trying to figure out some things. I'm trying to get things in order. I keep saying that. And I really am trying. But life is a difficult thing, you know. Jay and his lunchbox could take his shoes. For one of his breaks. He can have a salad and some type of meat. Or he can take leftovers from the night before. Adri in preschool her lunch every day pretty much was peanut butter and jelly with a kind some kind of chip veggies and dip and a fruit and a juice box and chocolate milk because she had to have all that for 
preschool because she was there like nine to five. But she might be eating lunches at school. I don't know. Let's figure out this whole school thing because she starts kindergarten, but it's all day kindergarten. They eat in the cafeteria. They have to, I have to pay and get like their money on a card. I know how that works. Like, school starts here in a couple weeks. I have no idea how that works. Um, yeah, I don't know. And like getting on a grocery budget, I have to figure out like toilet paper and paper towel and that kind of stuff. That won't be like every week. That would probably be like every month. Like maybe once a month stock up on that. I don't know. I bet I can do it. When you have too much variety in your home, that's when things go bad because you don't eat the stuff you have. Hmm. I'm on a mission to figure this out. We made a list of healthy foods that we want to keep on hand all the time. Or just foods in general. And I want to cut way back on pop, so that will save too. But... I want to drink more water. So I could get cases of water from Sam's like on the go. But I want like, I want to drink a jug of water a day. So right there is like, just during the week is five bucks a day. Or five bucks for the week because it's a dollar a jug. Hmm. What's your weekly budget? Like how many people are in your home and what's your weekly or monthly food budget and like where do you get the best deals and where do I get coupons for like produce because that's what I want like the healthy stuff's more expensive where do you why can't I get coupons for healthy stuff and where do I get the healthy stuff for a better price I look for produce at my Aldi's and at my ruler food and their produce section sucks and it's usually like bad it's not even gonna last like two days let alone the whole week I don't know I want to figure it out though. Coupons to provide here on YouTube. She has like set containers in her fridge because she like she buys the same things every week. The cheese, once it gets low, she knows to buy cheese for the next week and it just goes in the same container. Her fruits and veggies, like once they're gone, she buys them for the next week. She gets the same thing. She has bins of her oranges, potatoes, whatever, and then whatever is, what like, doesn't, I, I don't want to have to go to the grocery during the week for like little things here and there. Sometimes I'll have to for formula, but, for groceries? Give me tips on how to, um, and I'll share my tips with you as I figure them out. Hmm. I think at Sam's like the big huge um six pack of romaine hearts is like was it four something or I think it's like four something. So let's be five bucks, but that will last two weeks. So that breaks down to like two fifty a week for lettuce. Like I said, when I, the things that we eat are typically on sale every other week at Meyer. But I don't want to be boring and have the same thing every single week, but. I don't know. This crap right here, there's like no nutritional value. It's like no protein, no fiber. It's like all fat, calories, and sodium. 
And when I wake up in the morning, my belly is not, I mean, there, I have a belly, but it's not huge. By the end of the day, from all the crap I eat, it's probably the sodium. I've never really tracked my sodium. I blow up like a busted can of biscuits. Have you seen that thing on Facebook? Like, in the morning, I'm skinny, and by evening, I look like a busted can of biscuits. That's what I feel like. Like, on the weekends, like, maybe one day having cinnamon rolls or putting cinnamon rolls in the waffle maker. I've heard that's delicious. Or, you know, French toast and bacon or even, like, maybe occasionally going out to breakfast. But I need to figure out some kind of plan. Because I'll go to the grocery and spend like $200 on that thing. And then go the next week and spend like, yeah, I need to get some kind of budget. I still want to go to Dollar Tree. I want to go every week, at least once. I want to be able to, if the Bath and Body Works having a candle sale, you know, get a couple candles. If Victoria's Secret's having a sale or I see a shirt I want, just get a shirt. But, I don't know. I want to actually like the things that I buy and eat the foods that I buy and enjoy the food and not get fast food so often. I figured on a weekly meal. Like I said, we typically used to always have fish on Monday, taco Tuesday, spaghetti on Wednesday, shrimp on Thursday, and then like Friday, Saturday, Sunday, we did whatever. Excuse me. But it's like... Football's gonna be starting, so we're gonna be like watching football on Sundays. That'd be a good pizza, pizza and wings day on Sundays. <laughs> but sometimes Adri isn't here, but I could eat that while I'm prepping food. But BW3, they have their wings on sale, like two, I think Tuesday's wing day. <laughs> like TGI Fridays, Monday through Friday, they have like their half off appetizers. All right. I think that's on weekends, too. Because Jay and I went, and why wouldn't he have been at work? I don't know. I just want to find where I can pinch pennies in some places and save and then splurge in other places. I need to go through my pantry, write down everything I have. Is that like OCD or like just obsessive? Do you know how much of every single thing you have in your pantry and in your cupboards? But then, when you know what you have, it's like, okay, if we have cans of vegetable soup, I'll have vegetable soup today. Lots of veggies in a the soup. There's meat in there, which I don't usually eat the meat in it, but you know what I mean. Hmm, I don't know, guys. Jay gets irritated when I say I want to get things on schedule, but successful people are on schedule. Successful people have their breakfast at the same time, they start their work at the same time, they stop their work at the same time, they have lunch at the same time, they have dinner. Like, my grandpa was very, very, very successful. With his business, everything was on schedule. I mean, even if you just do it like during the week, a successful businessman, which is what he was, his insurance, uh, you gotta have like some kind of routine or schedule. It's good for kids, it's good for babies. School's about to be starting, I'm about to start getting up at 6 a.m. And now, like, if I go to the grocery and say my groceries, like, if I'm doing, like, a running total, it's, like, $40, I'll go find $10 worth of stuff to meet that $50. Why do I do that? Why not just save it? But I'd probably, like, like oh, I have a coupon for this. Save a dollar and I need two boxes of drumsticks. So I'd probably go get drumsticks. Like, <laughs> I want to have treats on hand. I want to have, like, some snacky stuff on hand. It doesn't have to be all healthy, but I want... 
healthy for the most part. Are you going to schedule, do you like the same thing every Monday, the same thing? If you do, comment down below and tell me what you have. I need some ideas. All right, how do you figure out what you're having for the week and do your grocery shopping? It's easy when you're single, but when you have a family... How do you do it? Are you a healthy eater? Are you eat what you want? Like I like the occasional Twinkie. I don't want to eat a Twinkie every single day. Nutty bars, I loved those. <clears throat> Excuse me, and I was buying them, but then we were eating them like every single day, and that's not healthy. And then I got burned on those. <clears throat> what is your grocery meal planning? Weekly meals, like, seriously, tell me below, people. I want to know. Fifty seems low, but seventy-five seems like a lot. I don't know. I'm all done. I have salad left. My stomach is upset just from this whole day, the last couple of days. So yeah, comment down below. Give me some tips. Give me what ideas of what you do. How your family functions. Are you in a schedule? What, what's your schedule? What time do you go to bed? What time do you get up? What do your kids nap? Like, I'm just curious because this whole kindergarten thing's a new thing to me. Like I said, Adrian only went to preschool two days a week and she was there till like five. So now it's like, and we didn't. We got up at eight. So now we have to get up two hours earlier, at least I am. I'll probably have to get Adri up at 6.30 so we can leave by 7.30. <sighs> I'm trying to figure all this out. Life can't be this difficult. Like, there's got to be easy ways to just get on a routine, stick to it. That's how it is. Weekends, kind of do whatever because you're not on such a tight schedule. But weekdays are for making money and working out. So I want it to be. I don't know. Comment down below. Tell me what your deal is. I'll debate on uploading that video from this morning. It's literally an hour. Lots of tears. It was. Yeah. I don't know. Give me a thumbs up if you're trying to figure out. An eating schedule, meal plan, budget type thing also. I can't be the only one trying to figure all this stuff out and simplify life and save money for more special things than just groceries. But still eat yummy, healthy food. Like I'll make Adria a plate with grapes and strawberries and veggies. It, and then I make myself something totally crappy. I just grab a bag of Doritos. Like, I need to eat what she eats because she's healthier than anybody in this house. I love strawberries. If I go to my house, she has them. I chow down on them. I just don't. I don't know. I don't know. I always feel better when I eat better. What a mess it's been lately. Everything. Just everything. <sighs> Alright, guys. Thanks for having lunch with me. I'm just trying to figure out so many things. So give me some tips and tricks and coupon sites and all that good stuff. Especially if you know where to get like produce coupons. Alright guys, until next time, I thank you for watching. Subscribe if you're not subscribed. If you don't miss out on any more videos. And once I get something figured out, I'll share it with you and see what works for me. Coupons to provide, I just I want her fridge, like how she has everything just set up. But I don't know. I wish that Jay cooked though too. Maybe he'll start if we just Make it simple. <laughs> he always says he wants to start cooking, but then he just doesn't do it. But, I don't know. Alright guys, I'll see you in the next video. Bye.